94XL, it's Moni XO. I am hanging out with the owner of Sweetology, Kara Newmark, and we are about to decorate some cupcakes. Stay tuned. You're watching 94XO. So where did the love for decorating and baking like come from? So I started um, many, many years ago. I think it was probably like 10 or 11 years ago. So I was actually always in um, the business world, mm -hmm. actually. Um, and I uh, left my job right when my daughter was entering middle school. And I thought, you know, I want to see if I can create a company that um, I love because as a working mom, you know, you just, it's so hard to not always be 100% there for your kids yeah. and so if you're gonna be working it's you, you know to love what you're doing mm -hmm. while you're not with your daughter or in my case I have three um, so I came up with this idea and honestly all I knew was that I wanted to love it and I wanted it to, to make me happy and I wanted to see I did know that what I wanted to do was see if I could create a national brand yeah and so um, honestly I was in New York one night drinking wine with a girlfriend <laughs> and she said how's your business coming and I said I don't know I haven't I haven't landed it yet and she said well you know I said I just want to love it and she said well what do you love and I do not know why but in that moment it was around the holidays like Thanksgiving time period yeah. and I said you know I'm just really happy when I'm in my kitchen with my kids licking fingers and being together yeah. And she said, oh, you should check out the store down the street in Manhattan where they send chocolate down a conveyor belt. And the minute she said conveyor belt, I was like, oh my God, I think I know my business. I think it's, you know, um, it's like uh, Willy Wonka meets a DIY cake studio. Yeah. And so, so the way that everything is set up in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, that's, how, that's how I started. So I, I do love to cook and I do love to bake, but I wouldn't say I'm either. And um, I'm certainly not a decorator, but <laughs> I, do, I do think that it really is about the fun of it. So how was the experience though when it changed from doing it at home in the kitchen and then being in your stores and helping other people yeah. make these roses and <laughs> right. whatever it is I'm making right now. Yeah, so um, so first thing, um, I gained 10 pounds in the first... Um, That's happy weight. It was happy weight, <laughs> but I, I quickly made, if you haven't tasted the buttercream yet, you should, should. because it's it's real van it's real buttercream with butter and like five ingredients it's really good I call it crack and I made a rule that after I gained the 10 pounds like I just can't be doing that so um, <laughs> so so that's kind of how it's changed but somebody was just asking me the other day like what it was uh, what did I miss the most from COVID and all yeah. of the stress of this last year and it was literally like being in the, in the store mm -hmm. watching people. Because it's not actually about, you know, per, per, I, I've said this many times, but it's not about like the perfect cake. It's literally about the kid who came in and wanted to make grandpa a fishing cake, yeah. right? And they figured out how to put gummy fishes on their cake and they, you know, they're six mm -hmm. and they are so proud of it and they did it and it was fun. That to me is is all of it. And it's I, the whole story. I love the experience that it is because, like you said, it's not about being perfect. Like w we talked off camera about being a perfectionist and whatnot, but just like having this experience, like with friends and family, and giving them yeah. the opportunity to step out of their comfort zone and, yeah. and do things different. I think that's awesome with like what you're doing and something right that's needed. So yeah, what would you say? I guess would be the hardest part about having a business, but also having a business where you do it yourself? Oh, so, you know, <laughs> ten, you know, 10, 11 years into this, um, it was, it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, you know, I was, you don't know what you don't know kind of a thing. Yeah. And um, 
you know, and there's been a lot of curveballs thrown at me along the way. I mean, COVID being the, the most recent one. And, you know, I had, um, it's, it's really hard to, um, it's 24 seven really. I mean, I think that's the hardest part of it. Um, I have a really good team, so that helps a lot. Um, but I'd also never been in retail before and retail it's different it's a whole nother animal <laughs> i mean a whole nother animal so i've had to learn all of that and then you know we sh we shipped so i had built my third store and opened it in o'fallon on march 1st and closed it on march 5th wow. and we built a commercial kitchen in that one before that i had i wasn't making my own product mm. i was outsourcing it and um so there's been all these crazy learnings around um, COVID, but what I ultimately had to do was I switched to an e-commerce platform and I've been like selling decorating kits all over the country. Yeah, which is cool because people are at home. They are. They want things to do. And they're looking, particularly this last December, I mean, it was nuts. I shipped 7,000 kits oh in 21 gosh. days. I do not even know. I was living and sleeping and breathing. I didn't see my family. Um, but it was crazy because suddenly the world found me because I, it was like a perfect storm. I was literally providing something that everybody was desperate for. And what it was, it wasn't cake. It was, it was the intersection of the holidays and being together and those traditions of decorating cookies or whatever and then meeting up in a virtual room. Yeah. And so I was getting, get, I was getting, doing virtual parties for like, you know, Google and Nickelodeon wow. and crazy, crazy things. And, um, and just people like you and me who wanted to have cookie decorating with grandma or their girlfriends and a glass of wine. And so. I guess that just, that really honestly ties back into like the experience and right. making so many people happy. Like that's, that's amazing. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was power of marketing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Or luck. I mean, it was kind of luck and being in the right place at the right time yeah. because um, somehow they just started finding me mm -hmm. and um, I've had to learn a lot about Google ads and SEO searches yes. and all that <laughs> and I knew nothing and I still know very little but yeah so that's kind of where we are and and now that we're gearing up for um, op full opening hopefully soon yes, the and summertime. I know and you know this will be our eighth summer of camp so we do a kids cake adventure camp um, for week camps all summer long okay. and um, last year we had to do it all virtually so I was shipping kits all over. <laughs> but how was that though? It was great. Yeah. The feedback was great. The kids did great. And it was, I mean, it was again, a perfect storm for me in some ways mm -hmm. because kids weren't allowed out of their house right. and they could come to Sweetology Cake Camp in their kitchen and then they'd get to learn techniques and they'd have fun edible stuff every day and you know it was cool yeah. it was really cool oh now speaking of the camps like what other services do you offer to come in for like birthday parties we do we do I mean prior to COVID we would book you know we have eight slots a weekend and they were always booked That's and good. whatnot and it's starting to get back yeah. you know, people as people are getting more comfortable mm -hmm. being out um but yeah, we do that. We do um, a bunch of actually corporate team building kind of things, where which is super fun. I was going to say, that's probably really fun. Yeah, and we, um, back in the day, pre-COVID, we partnered with a nonprofit organization called It's Your Birthday, Inc. Okay. I don't know if you know it, but um, it's founded by an awesome woman here in town, and she believes everybody, every kid should have a birthday regardless of their situation. And mm -hmm. so kids that are in crisis, homeless shelters or domestic violence shelters, you know, their moms are dealing with stuff and don't necessarily have the emotional bandwidth or the financial bandwidth to throw a birthday party for yeah. their kid. So that's what she does. So she goes in, I just got chills. She goes in and throws these like over the top birthday parties for these precious little kids or bigger kids and we partner with them so long way of telling you that so a lot of my corporate stuff they'll come in and we'll do like like 
cake competitions where you'll be in a team oh, yeah. and you'll get a, you'll pick, pick, pick something out of a hat and it'll say make a, make a cake for a six-year-old girl or make a cake for a ten-year-old boy and then they compete and then we donate those ca awesome. those cakes to It's Your Birthday Inc. And um, it's super fun. Yeah. And people get so, like the, the guys, they walk in and they're kind of like, I don't know. I'm not doing I, this. <laughs> I'm not really into like rosebuds, you know? <laughs> and um, what ultimately happens is they get competitive, they get into it and they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, we can, we can make a ski slope out of fondant and they <laughs> carve their cakes and they're like making all sorts of stuff. And it it's- looks 10 times better than what I have going on right here. Not at all, <laughs> not at all. It's good. So, you know, throw some sprinkles on that and, you know. And it'll taste I, the same. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, I didn't get to talk about it before, but where does the name come from? So, uh, actually, I hired um, a brand um, marketing firm um, when I had the idea. Okay. And we spent 18 months. Actually, it was part of the, it was such a fun process. I'd never been through it before, but where they literally take your idea, deconstruct your idea, mm -hmm. and then build your idea back up. Um, with you know images and colors and whatnot, and we you know we wanted to get a name that obviously was unique and unusual that I yeah. could that I could protect to try to grow national presence, mm -hmm. and um, so we played in Sweet Ology is what we came up with, and I think they did a I'm in love with my logo that they created for me, which yeah. you know has the dollops. Um, you know, of frosting coming off in all the different colors. And, and it's cool because it's like you see how much somebody like actually cares about your brand with the little the details. details. I, I don't know if you've ever noticed there's like a face in there too. Yeah, I wish we had the we call We call it Olo with the little eyes and it's got the little lick there. So. Okay. They, they put a lot of thought into it. Well, you can kind of see it over there. <laughs> and I was going to say, though, like the way that your store is built up to, like how eye-popping it was when I came Thank in. Thank you. And exciting. Like, I, just, I love everything about what you're doing. Like, I can't Thank wait. You. When you're expanding, COVID is going to let up. And I we're going to get I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope. Now, before I wrap up and go into the Closer HR segment, um, what can we look forward to for the rest of 2021? So, um, we are going to just get our feet on the ground and hopefully not close again yeah. um, with COVID. But where we were with opening the third store in O'Fallon was a real milestone for me mm -hmm. because that store, every I've built three, and every store... I have learned and honed the process and the aesthetic and whatever. I'd love to get you out to the O'Fallon store because it's kind of even more fun because <laughs> I added even more things. But so O'Fallon represented that milestone where I brought in all of the production in-house so that I could then start rolling out stores. Okay. And in addition, I outsourced the whole build out now. So I worked with a design team out of um, Cincinnati wow. who literally can come in and in 24 hours build a store. Wow. Wow. So we're, they, <laughs> we're at that moment where I can now replicate this in other cities. Yes. Pretty, it's, it's go time. It's, it's, go, time. it's go time. So, <laughs> so I would like to open one more in St. Louis. Um, and uh, and then really just kind of start gradually opening around kind of in, a, you know, like maybe Nashville, maybe oh, Kansas yeah. City, Chicago, Miami, Miami, Los Angeles. The thing about Sweetology is it literally could go anywhere. Exactly. Because who doesn't love cake? Exactly. <laughs> I said those big cities. I'm yeah. excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, where can people find more information? Where can they book you guys at? Sweetology.com. Okay. Um, and there's a master calendar um, on our master navigation where you have all the parties and classes. We also do classes and kids camps all through the year and little mini camps and summer camps. So, yeah. If, if you're interested in, like, custom like renting the whole space or having like a girls night out kind of thing or what a one-off then you just email me and oh do they have like bachelorette oh we do, do 
We do baby showers. We've done bachelor. Oh, I've done a. I've, a, seen I've done a rehearsal dinner. Yes, <laughs> I have my liquor license. So um, we do it all. <laughs> So, and um, yeah, so that's where you would go. Okay. Or follow us. I mean, I'd love for you, everybody to follow our story because it's really fun. Oh, yeah. At Sweet Sweetology. For sure. All right, let's get to it. So the cause of Ray jar, what you're going to do is you're going to pull three questions from this jar. Okay. And just answer them the best way that you can. Okay. I'll do it. Good luck. Oh, are they really, are they really <laughs> tricky? They're really random. Okay. <laughs> so... I might need my glasses. Okay. If the police raided your house right now, what is the most incriminating thing they would find? Okay. Um, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's so lame. But the first thing that came to my mind was like, my bedroom is a mess. <laughs> my bed is a maze. There's clothes on the floor. I just I couldn't get they it. They would done. probably just walk right back out. Right. Like, whatever. They'd be like, yeah, that, that's <laughs> it. House. That's it. That's it. Okay, you want me to do another? Yes. Okay. What would you like your um, dying words to be? She was a good friend. I love it. Yeah, that's that it. That was easy. That was easy. Last one. Yeah. Um, what's the most ticklish spot on your body? <laughs> That's appropriate. That's, that, that is appropriate. Yes, uh, under my arms. How's that? That was perfect. We won't go any further. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. I'm Moni Exo, and we are out. Be easy. It's your girl, Moni XO, and you just finished a 94 XO interview. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media platforms. Be easy.